time of year, we talk a lot about pumpkins in fall. When I was a school teacher, I used to tell my children this pumpkin story, and I'd like to tell it to you today. If this pumpkin is us, Jesus came to be the light. And when I ask him to live inside of me, he becomes the light inside of me because he came to live inside of me and take away all my sins. Now sometimes, even though he's inside of me, we might have trouble with sins like complaining, saying something um, that you don't like, and that's a sin. Jesus doesn't like that. Or you might have trouble sharing your toys. Jesus doesn't like that either. That's a sin. Or you might have trouble obeying your mom and dad or your teachers. That's a sin also. See, the light is being blocked by the sin. Sometimes we might have trouble with kindness. Maybe we're mean to somebody, and that's a sin also. Or maybe we have trouble with gossiping and we say some bad things about people that, that aren't true. So these sins block the light. The light, Jesus is still in there, but the sin is blocking the light. So Jesus tells us to ask forgiveness for our sins. And so when we pray and say, please forgive me for um, not sharing and gossiping and all of our sins that we did, he takes away our sins so that he can shine brightly again through us. And so my question for you today is, first of all, have you asked Jesus to be your light and live inside of you and take away all your sins? And secondly, is he shining brightly in you and through you? Or is sin blocking the way? So I hope this little pumpkin story will help you learn more about Jesus and what he's done for you and that you will shine brightly for him every day that you live.